So I got myself thinking, Windows XP was a beast of an operating system for its time. You know, with its nice glossy Windows interface, its blue theme, the nice audio effects, and it was genuinely a milestone in IT history. So it got me thinking, you know, these days, XP doesn't really push a computer, so how many copies of Windows XP can we virtualize on this one machine here before my system starts to bottleneck? I'm going to show you how many you can do with 16 gig of RAM, an SSD, and an i7 overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz. Let's do this! Well, I suppose it would make sense to make the first initial Windows XP virtual machine in Hyper-V. And then obviously we'll clone all the VMs from then on and obviously go until the system's bottlenecked. But I have a sneaky suspicion that this system will run at least 20 versions of XP in one go. So let's do this. So Windows XP uh, 1. There you go. So that's the first machine that we'll set up. We'll give it a literally 128 megabytes of RAM dynamically assigned. We'll use an external switch, but we'll have to assign it a legacy switch for this to work. We'll give it, I don't know, 1,024 uh, megabytes. Oh, we need to, oh God, we need to give it less. Oh no. <laughs> One gigabyte it'll be then. Okay. In fact, no, we'll give it two. You know, we'll be generous. Two gigabytes. Okay. And as for the image file, it's on my desktop. There it is. Let's do this then. Next. Finish. Okay, so let's first of all assign it the full eight cores. So settings, and we'll come into the virtual processor. We'll give it eight cores. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, the next thing we'll add hardware and add a legacy network adapter. This means that it can actually use the external network adapter to get out to the internet. Okay, so there we go. There's the first VM. Let's go ahead and boot this bad boy up. And we'll start to create these virtual machines. So, start. Set up as inspecting your computer's hardware configuration. Ooh, press F6 if you need to install third-party SCSI drivers. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted one of those. Yes. Setup is starting Windows. Start then! Do it! Windows XP is now starting up. Please wait. Now this is when things get exciting guys because I can start to clone these VMs at a super fast rate for you guys. I'm going to go up maybe, what, 10 at a time maybe? 5 at a time? Oh, we'll have to wait and see. Now we should in theory have internet access. Let's have a little look and see. Um, yeah, uh, oh, uh, oh, um, alright, I'm going to restart it again. See if that helps it. <laughs> so, for, 
so much for seeing how many VMs we can run in one instance. <laughs> you can't even restart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need to kill the processor. <laughs> Jake, pull yourself together, mate. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> oh, God, that was hilarious. Okay, so, Internet Explorer, does it want to work this time? <laughs> oh, man, I don't want to work in IT anymore. <laughs> Uh, we'll go from there and see how many we can do. I'll fast forward it from now on, guys. Oh, apologies for the laughter there. That was hilarious. Anyway, let's go. Oh, dearie me. That was a laugh now, wasn't it? Anyway, I worked out what the issue was in the end. It was because I actually have two network adapters physically on the host of this machine. So we want to clone this machine uh, in the Hyper-V so we can re-import it multiple times and see how many we can actually run at once. So let's do that now. I'm going to minimize XP down. Minimize, and we're going to literally come across to XP here, right click on export, or you can come down and export down the bottom here as well. Uh, location, I'm going to put it on the desktop, so I'll create a folder for all of the VMs to read from, so it's XP, there we go. So browse, desktop, XP, select the folder, in, uh, export. Now the VM literally says exporting here on the right hand side under status. You can see just how fast that is an SSD. <laughs> Done. Simple as that. That's been exported. Okay. So now we can re-import that virtual machine in multiple times. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'll do it a couple of times slowly and I'll fast forward it loads of times to see how many we can set up. So import virtual machine. Next. Folders. Browse the desktop. XP. XP1. Select folder. Next. There you go. It sees the virtual machine. So XP1. Next. We're going to copy the virtual machine and create a new unique ID. Next. Okay, store it in the same location. Default location. Next. On this stage, we need to actually create a folder for it to go into so it doesn't obviously coincide with itself. So in the one, we'll call it number one. In fact, no, number two. There we go, because obviously it's a clone of itself. So number two. Next, you'll see that creating it and finish. Okay, so you'll see it copying the file in the VHDX file. And... Uh, it's really as simple as that. So there we go. So if I double click on the second machine here, action start, you'll see <laughs> it's really simple as that. We've literally just restored a virtual machine. There we go. Now we have two. So um, there we go. <laughs> it's really, really simple, guys. So I'll do it one more time and then we'll obviously uh, go ahead and I'll fast forward this and see how many I can get running at once just for a laugh here. So import virtual machine next. Browse, desktop, XP, it's in within this folder, next, next, copy the virtual machine, and next again. There we go. And this time it'll be the third folder, next, and finish. Let's uh, watch that import, which is incredible to watch. So, saved, double click on it. <laughs> Action. I'll move it out of the way a little bit just to give perspective. Action and start. There we go. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Look at that. Three XP VMs in like about, what, five minutes? <laughs> oh, wicked. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set load more of these up. And uh, you just watch away, guys, and we'll come back shortly. Thank you. Okay, guys. <laughs> So there's 10 Windows XP virtual machines running on screen so far. Uh, as you can see, if we look at the task manager, we're using, what, 40% of the quad-core processor, uh, 5 gig of RAM out of the 16, and nothing on the hard drive, let's be fair, like 1%, 3%. <laughs> Oh, so you get the picture as why XP is so lightweight these days, and, you know, back in the day, how far technology has gone now. Uh, anyway, let's carry on, and we'll see how many more VMs we can run. Let's do this then. Okay, and now we're just about to start up the next 10. 
So that'll be 30 running. So start. Look at that. All of them running. Nicely. Let's go ahead and uh, connect them. Let's see what's going on then. Oh, they're all running okay. Yeah, brilliant. So we've still got 30. It's maxing out the CPU to load up the uh, sessions, but I think once it cal calms down in a second, it'll be all right. Okay, there we go. That's 30 now running on the uh, desktop here. There you go, as you can see. There we go. Come down here. You see it's 30 VMs and XP, all running absolutely fine. I think some of them are going to sleep, if that's what's um, concerning you guys. If you've got black screens, it's probably because they've gone to sleep. Uh, or just the screensaver that comes up. There you go. My machine is still fully usable. Let's have a look. So, bbc.co.uk. Yeah, you can see my machine's still nice and quick. So that's 30 copies, 30 virtual computers of XP running, guys. 30, all right? That puts it into perspective, doesn't it? I mean, you can run 30 copies of XP and still use your system fine. You know, that is ridiculously good. So there we go. You know, start menu, uh, Windows Explorer. So the hard drives in your machine, still browse through your, your storage, your, your YouTube stuff. Let's go look up through my YouTube videos. If I go into that, wait for the drive to spin up, because it's a, a green, Western Digital Green Drive. There you go. You know, still able to browse through the drives fine. No issues whatsoever there. Let's keep going then. Let's see what we can get out of this machine. All right, guys, so we're at 48 virtual machines, okay? Uh, I'm going to show you that my, my machine is actually still uh, fully usable. So as you can see on the screen here, desktop, XP, I'm on the 49th one now. So 49th, create a new unique ID. As you can see, nearly 50 virtual machines, guys, 50 copies of XP, all run in here. Uh, on this system in the background. I can connect to any one of them, use them for internet access, you know, any time I want. 49, let's do it now then, finish that, import the next one, so the 50th computer. So 50, let's do this. XP1, next, next. Copy the virtual machine, unique data ID, and number 50, okay, so finish that. And let me just start those last ones off. So start and start. You can see that this system is still fully usable. You know, if I want to go to YouTube, you know, it'll take me straight to YouTube. There we go. How cool is that? Absolutely brilliant. You know, so let's go ahead and select them all and right click connect. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Look at them all flowing through. Now remember guys, uh, my system is actually utilizing a lot of the CPU just to record this video. So that does actually affect the performance of this machine. But as you can see, the CPU, the CPU usage, sorry, I get my words out, you know, you're using 100% there, but you wait till it settles down and it's loaded all the sessions. You know, 100%, 13 gig of RAM, about seven to 10% of the hard drive, the SSD in this thing, you know, and, as soon as it's finished loading like that, there you go. Watch the CPU now. You know, 60%. So it's using, you know, two thirds at most of this overclocked CPU. You know, 15 out of the 16 gig of RAM, that's fair enough. And look at the hard drive usage, nothing. It's absolutely brilliant and such an efficient way of, you know, playing about with operating systems, etc., etc. Okay, so I've just closed all the VMs down. Just so it's a bit easier and clearer on the screen. You can see how many there are. They're all 50 uh, running there. You can see the uptimes. So 28 minutes, you know, 35 minutes. Some of them have just been set up, so it's only five minutes. Let's pick one at random then. So let's say, I don't know, um, they're this one here. Uh, if we go on to it, you can obviously see that, you know, it's just a duplicate of the others. So if I go to the start button, internet access. Yeah, there you go, straight away. bbc.co.uk. Helps if I could spell .co dot uk doesn't it really there we go straight in simple as that absolutely brilliant so now i've got 50 vms what can i do with them <laughs> so guys i think you get the picture i have 50 vms and xp all running perfectly here on my screen now it's hard to show this obviously on camera uh simply because it takes up all of the, the room of my screen 
But uh, yeah, all of the VMs are running, as you can see there. I actually managed to get down to about 40. Uh, obviously, then I run out of space, but you can see I've tried to arrange them on the screen as best as possible. Oh, it's funny. But no, it was a great laugh doing this, guys. But, you know, I'll leave it there because the system is really not being pushed at all. So there's Task Manager. You know, it's hard to see, but she's in 60% of the CPU for about 13 gig of RAM and like 1 to 5% of the hard drive, which is amazing to think you're running 50 copies of XP. 50 on one machine. You know, you think how much power in the past that would have taken and how, you know, easy this is running now. You know, it's brilliant. So I want to take this opportunity, guys, to thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned to watch this, you know, and, and keep your interest in IT. I uh, hope you found it interesting. I certainly did. It was a great laugh for me to sort of set all these up. And <laughs> oh, it's funny, isn't it? But yeah. So um, now I'm going to try and shut them all down, but that might be interesting because that will kill the computer altogether trying to shut them down. But, you know, it's all part of the fun. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm Jake Billing. If you like the video, please subscribe, obviously, and share the video around. And uh, as always, I'll catch you next time for some more fun. See ya. Bye. So let's uh, shut these VMs down. So. Shut down. Yes, I'm sure I'd like to turn them all off. And now it's literally just a waiting game. So let's look at Task Manager. They should be destroying my uh, processor, really, to shut them down. But in Oh! Hyper-V Manager! Do -do 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 -do. See you later.